I've been asked to show how to wire the dimmer switch if you're using it with um, a sewing machine foot controller. So the sewing machine foot controller is two wires and it just the two wires connect into the socket. I've added this so it means I can just bypass it if I don't need it or for portability but ultimately it's just two wires into the foot controller and into the dimmer switch and then that same two wires goes into where the foot controller would go into the machine however you connect it whether you plug it into one of the old types that's why I've got this plug on there you can either plug it in or I've added another one of these onto the two wire <clears throat> from the machine itself or the motor and you just plug it in <clears throat> so it makes it easy but as far as how it's wired inside okay let's see if we can use this diagram effectively so what happens to is, yeah, it's a gorgeous drawing, I know, I never said I was gifted at this. But if you imagine, here's your machine, and here's your foot controller. So there's your foot controller, there's your machine. And the original design was, these two wires went through. All, all you're doing is leaving one connected, straight through, and the other one will go one to the red, and one out the black. Nothing more fancy than that. So what you can't see is that because I have three of these connectors, one is just connecting the foot controller wire straight through to the uh, in and out. So unfortunately I've got two different colors here, but one of these gray black wires is just connected directly through and the other wire one goes into the red and one goes and then the out of the gray goes to the black and that's all it is so it's straight through <clears throat> you you could actually bypass the switch if you really wanted but I've wired it through the switch and just connected those two together inside the switch and then the wire from the foot controller and it doesn't matter because it's it's alternating voltage so it doesn't matter which way if it's red or black that you connect to just choose one and then you connect it here so I've got basically I've got one of these little connectors here and then a little connector there and a connector there and that's why I've got three so one just connects that straight through and then the other one <coughs> connects the other wire to the black or the red so it doesn't matter which order you do red black because it's alternating it doesn't really matter um, and then that's going through so if you had the same color wires it would be a little more clear but I've got gray coming out so the in my diagram this is the gray and this is the black so you can see the black wire there and the gray coming out so on one of these, what you'll see is that it connects directly the black and the gray, and then one is connected to the black wire of the switch to the gray here, and the other one is the red to the black of the switch of the foot controller. And that's all it is. So you could leave that connected and just cut the one side of the wire and then put the switch in the middle of that or you cut both and you just reconnect them within the switches which is what I've done for security. So I know that's not the prettiest diagram but it is very straightforward. You're only in reality making one slice and putting the switch as an interrupter in the middle of one of the wires. Nothing more fancy than that. I hope that helps. Okay. So I would have been happy with a low profile, however I didn't find one <clears throat> when I went to buy this uh, 
switch, so I just made it a little unnecessarily large, but it certainly operates very well. Okay, so you have one option that you could actually affect with this, and you could, if you're rewiring the whole thing, you could actually put a three wire, ground your machine, and ground through here using the ground wire. But in this case, because it's all plastic, I haven't bothered with the ground wire at all. And what you'll see on the back of this switch is... A little... there are th two red wires and a black one. And... What you'll see is there's a label on here which says this is used for three-way installations. You don't need that. And what that means is when you put on multiple switches on one light, so you, say you walk into your house and you flick on a switch and then you can turn it off elsewhere in the house, you just ignore that one. And all you do is <clears throat> connect the wire to the foot controller and the wire going in through these wires here. So 